Each of the following combinations of quantum numbers do not represent permissible solutions of the Schrodinger equation for the electron in the hydrogen atom. In other words, which combination of quantum numbers is not allowed? So in order for us to do that, we have to get some rules down about the four um, quantum numbers that we have. The first quantum number is n, principal energy level, and basically n can be any integer, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The next quantum number is L, and L has a rule, it depends on n, so n, L has to go from 0 to n minus 1. These are all of the possible L values. So let me give you an example. Let's say my n is equal to 3. What could my L be? It must go from 0 to n minus 1. So it could be 0, 1, or 2, because 3 minus 1 is 2. So those are all of the possible values for L when n is equal to 3. Let's go ahead and go to the next quantum number, which is ML. ML depends on L. It can go from minus L to 0 to plus L. Let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say my L is equal to 2. That means my ML has to, the options for ML, it could be minus 2, so it can go from minus L, minus 1, 0, 1, or 2. These are all of my options for ML if L is equal to 2. And the final quantum number is the spin number, ms, and basically this one is very simple. It could be plus one half or minus one half. And now that we are familiar with the rules, let's go ahead and look at all of the set of possible numbers to see which set cannot happen. Now remember the first number that is given will be n, the second l, the third is ml, and the fourth is ms. Okay, in terms, let's go through A. N is equal to 9. Can L be equal to 8? Yes, it can because L can go from 0 to N minus 1. So this L could go from 0 to 9 minus 1, which is 8. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So L here is fine. And N here is also fine because N is just an integer and it works. Now, what about ML? ML depends on L. It can go from minus L to 0 to plus L. So since L here is 8, ML can go minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and then all the way up to 8. So minus 4 works because it's one of them. MS is plus 1 half. Yes, MS can be plus 1 half or minus 1 half. So MS works, and so this, this um, combination is fine and is not going to be our answer choice. Let's go ahead and go to B. N is equal to 8. That works because it can be an integer number. What about L? Well, if N is equal to 8, L can be, go from 0 to N minus 1. So it can go from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 2 works here, and that is fine. If L is equal to 2, what could my ML be? ML, again, goes from minus L through 0 to L, so it can go from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, or 2, and in this case, it's 2, and that works. And then the last one is MS. MS has to be either plus 1 half or minus 1 half, and it's plus 1 half. So that's fine, and we can eliminate choice B. Now let's go to choice C. Our n is 6, that's an integer, that's fine. Now if our n is 6, what could our l be? l has to go from 0 to n minus 1. So it could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, because 6 minus 1 is 5. So it can go from 0 to 5. Now in this case, we see minus 5 we can see that this must be our answer choice because minus 5 cannot be the L value. L value goes from 0 to n minus 1, in this case from 0 to 5. 
and here it is minus 5 so that is wrong and that must be the wrong set of quantum numbers that this this set would not be allowed let's go ahead and just ch check g, uh, g just in case if n is equal 6 could my l be 5 yes because it goes from 0 to um to n minus 1 from 0 to 6 minus 1 which is 5 so that is fine if my L is 5, could my ML be minus 5? ML goes from minus L to plus L. Minus L is minus 5, so that works. And my MS has to be either plus a half or minus a half. And in this case, it's plus a half, so it works also. So Z is wrong as well. Therefore, C must be our answer because when N is equal to 6, L cannot be equal to minus 5. And uh, because it has to go from 0 to n minus 1. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you found this video helpful. And I really look forward to seeing you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.